Oh, you know what's going on. I'm Builder Bear. Here is my dude. Spout. What's up, guys? With Spout. Dude, we have a twofer for you guys today. Behind us is two Victorian houses for the price of one video. Two for one. Oh, two yeah. Two for one. It's kind of like, it's actually like maybe one and a half because one of the houses is like a little bit different. It's, uh, it's like missing part of itself, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, one of these houses is a little bit different from the other house. See if you can guess it. Oh, you can't because I'm shaking. Oof. Okay. Yeah, look at this thing. So we're going to start here on the left with this Victorian uh, built by... Who is this built by? Built by Mr. Cucumber. Mr. Cucumber. Again, not sure if um it's really a cucumber. We have apparently a lot of food items that come on here and build. Lots of food items. Lots of food items. We actually pick our builders from Walmart. This one's from the produce section. Making me hungry. Making me hungry. It's actually yeah. from VeggieTales. It's uh, it's Larry from VeggieTales, so full disclosure. Um, <laughs> VeggieTales. <laughs> VeggieTales, that's a throwback. Uh, so, dude, let's, let's kind of go in this thing. Or are we? Do not enter. Risk of collapse. All right, we're risking our lives to bring you this build. Yeah. Risking our lives. Are we sure it's worth it? I don't know. I'm just gonna uh, uh, jump over. Whew. Oh, oh! Didn't jump, but no, you not. didn't jump. You're. <laughs> you just like ran through the banner. It was not very athletic. <laughs> all right, we should go in this house first of all, dude. I love the overgrown lawn. Oh yeah, with a little pond right here. Yeah, dude. Really nice. Definitely like. I wish they could like put trash in there so it'd be like somebody's just coming here and throwing their bottles or whatever in there but i don't know so let's go into the uh to the house and kind of check it out right on in. right ooh, maybe right on in. look at these bars they used iron trap doors so like you can't get in but i'm gonna go in anyway Boop. yeah meant to keep us out meant to keep <laughs> us out Whoa. This thing is definitely abandoned and definitely falling down. Yeah, wallpaper falling off the walls. Oh, that's so cool. I kind of wish I didn't have night vision on, so I'm using cylinder shaders with night vision on so you guys can see all the details. But when you come on, definitely look at this thing without it so it looks dark and creepy. But not too dark and not too creepy and not at night because then you won't sleep. Look at all the cobwebs, all the junk everywhere. There's like stuff on the ground. There's even planks missing from the floor. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, it looks like an actual abandoned house. That you would see <laughs> in the house. Yo, this picture fell off the wall. There's like moving boxes everywhere. People just left the house empty. Just left the house empty. Ooh, what do you think happened to the people? Do you think they're dead in the house somewhere? Ooh, spooky. That is spooky. haunting it. Oh, what if it is That's haunted? Mm. Okay, that would have been a perfect time for somebody to like TP to us and fly by. That would have freaked me out and it would have left the house and just like, whatever, <laughs> dude. Like, no, we're good. All right, let's go up the stairs. Ooh, it is really dark up here. Is yours dark? Mine's super light. At least in the stairs, it was really dark. Really okay. spooky. Spooky and haunted. Ooh. So it looks like... Oh, look at this bathroom. It's still pretty nice. I feel like I could poop in here and I would be okay to poop in here. Yeah, it looks like the only place that took care of was the bathroom. Yeah, right? Which is good. If you're going to take care of any place, the place where you put your bare butt would be the place to take care of. Oh, yeah. Just a basic bedroom. Still just really dilapidated. Is the, is my it's like they lost the light bulb on the light fixture. Oh, look at that detail. No more light bulb. No more light bulb. Bye bye. Same thing in here. More pictures off the wall. Dude, this is just like, look at, there's even plants growing through a hole in the ceiling. Wow. The detail here and the <laughs> thought he put in it. Dude, that's so cool. I would have never thought to do something like this. Everybody always does. Really like, did it. Yeah, dude, really. Everybody does all these super nice, like, crazy, just 
amazing immaculate builds and he's like I'm going to build something awesome that looks like it's not awesome <laughs> somebody's been drinking out here cola out on Got the balcony the one's hanging out in the abandoned house yep dude this is really cool dude, this... what this, what happened to this bathroom see this bathroom is not nice where you at coming coming <laughs> yo dude there's a hole there's an entire hole in the wall an entire hole in the bathroom. There's a whole hole. Uh oh. Can we get back in? No. Uh oh. That's uh -oh. stuck in the cobweb. Whew. Did you? You're going slow mo. Alright, let's go upstairs. Is there an upstairs? Is there an attic? I thought there was an attic. It looked like with the hole in the roof, whatever that was. Where you at, hole? Alright, we're about to cheat this and fly up through a hole in the ceiling. Ooh, there's a pretty cool office over there, but no hole in the ceiling to get to the attic. No attic. All right, no attic. Well, we tricked you guys. <laughs> no attic. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in a cobweb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Having trouble getting down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> this, is, this is a dangerous place. No wonder they boarded it up. And you know what? We did that to ourselves because we definitely hopped all of the precautions that were put into place. And came in here. Oh yeah, definitely didn't heed the signs. <laughs> no, he didn't. That is our fault. Our bad. Our bad. Um, so yeah, there it is, dude. There's house numero uno. Uh, it's a really cool abandoned house. I don't know if we ever. This is in Warp Marceline. I don't think we ever said that. Yeah, Warp Marceline. Definitely come check it out. It's a really cool house. Oh, for sure, for sure. So now we're gonna jump next door to go to this house. Which is a beautiful red Victorian by... Who's this one by? By green underscore X. Green underscore X. And this thing is... Dude, look at these things right next to each other. This thing is amazing. Look at this. <laughs> Quite the contrast from the abandoned house. It is, dude. Look at look at all the cakes this one has. I think... Okay, I don't think the abandoned house got as much love as it should have. But this one's definitely getting deserved love as well. Yeah, definitely getting lots of love over at the Red House. Oh, some some dude named Spider Scout said truly stunning. I don't know who that could be. Who could that be? Who could that possibly be? Um, oh, look, there's Matt running away. Bye, Matt. So, coming up here, it's a Red Queen Anne Victorian. Wop. Uh -oh. Second build. Wow. Wait, really what? good for a second. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't even know if I could build something this nice. Yeah, especially in the second though. Oh, we have a little visitor, Matt. Where you at, though? In the background, here a little bit. Oh, look at that. Admin Matt himself. He actually owns this place. Where'd he go? He actually owns this place. Coming by to check on us. Make sure we're, we're not eating the cake. Make sure we're working hard. <laughs> make sure we're going to... We don't work hard at all. Uh, we actually literally need to work harder to get you guys more videos... But, um, yeah, whatever. So, coming into this building right here. This is beautiful, dude. Yeah, quite the cozy cozy feel in this uh, house. It is. Look at how big this fireplace is. Absolutely massive. Uh oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> well, burning bear. There. Burning bear. Cooking some bear meat tonight. That would smell terrible because nobody got my fur off. <laughs> Dude, so like I really like the layout of this house. Um, you come in, you have a super traditional uh, living room over here with I like the blocks back there for the for the chairs with some pillows. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, lots of wood, lots of lots of kind of dark light. And then really good contrast. Yeah, dude, a lot of player heads too. Um, because I guess old houses, you think like in my head, an old lady lives here, and old ladies love to put up. Like random stuff in their house, like what is it? Knickknacks? Yeah, is that what it's called? And their little birds, and whatever that is. <laughs> little birds, little birds in their bird houses and. So, coming into the kitchen, uh, again, just super well done. A huge window behind the sink. Nice stove over nice here. Nice I don't know, just super basic, beautiful, like, just well done. Everything's just so nicely put together. It feels like old Victorians are 
kind of cluttered, and it definitely feels pretty cluttered. Oh yeah, it definitely, is. definitely looks like an experienced builder made this. Oh, for sure, and it's a second build. Look at this. It looks like they're eating um, bear popcorn bear for uh, dinner. Like they're just sitting down to a meal. Yeah, having a little popcorn in there. Really with nice looking chairs with the banner and everything. Ooh, I like that. And then the red. The red is the theme, and it's definitely prevalent, but not too in your face. And I appreciate that. Oh yeah. Um, what going back? What, what, what is this? Where are you at? What kind of? I'm in the laundry room. What kind of mad contraption is this? Some kind of contraption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Not I don't know. <laughs> Green, if you watch this, you put down in the comments what this is. You let us know, yeah, okay? Let us know what this crazy thing is. Do you? What do you put? Like, uh oh, I'm in it. I'm stuck. What's happening? Stuck inside it. I'm Can't stuck leave. Inside. Okay, we got to get away from that thing. It's catching people. All right, let's go. Let's go look up the stairs. Whoa, dude! When you go up the stairs, look up at the ceiling. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh wow! With those little lights in the uh, trap door. Oh, dude! Wow. Like. That's actually inspiration. I never thought about doing that. I mean, this is a big open little kind of hallway thing. You wouldn't really see this in Victorians, but he really pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is crazy. All of the rooms just kind of come off this. It's like an upstairs foyer. This is this is nuts. Yeah, come off the one center hallway, every single room. And then look at these light fixtures. With a little flower or whatever plants it is on top yeah oh this is so well done dude look at this so i guess let's just pick a room and go into one of the rooms yeah lots of rooms to pick from oh yeah it's very tight quarters in here there's like a little look at that wardrobe with the door open Ooh, that's something you guys can do so uh, Minecraft builds tend to feel very static, and the door open, like, stuff like that makes it look lived in and not feel so static with, you know, actually a shoe in there and the banner hanging up is closed and it looks like the door is open. That definitely helps it feel more alive. Yeah, it really helps with the realism of the build. Oh, for sure. Oh, dude, this one even has, a has like, a teddy bear on it. That's so cool. <laughs> Got the little stuffed animal right there. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. I want to I wanna know... Oh, and there's a closet in here. Maybe. Can't go through the door. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> breaking the doors over here. <laughs> Dude, I'm breaking the doors. I'm always super hesitant to touch stuff in houses because I don't know what's going to happen if I touch something. Like, the whole house is going to fall apart and I'm going to have to, like, yeah. run away and delete the video. Touch something and then everything collapses. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, what is this? Is this the tower? Oh, wow. Look is at that. Beautiful chandelier. Beautiful light feature. Uh oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's like a library in the tower. Oh, very cool. Very nice. Got the little ladder to go access your other books up top and stuff. Oh, apparently I can't. How do you? How do you do this? Oh, look at me. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Climbing ladders, falling down ladders. Huh. <laughs> Feeling athletic today. Today I have hurdled something. I've climbed a ladder. Um, we don't know what else is going to happen in this video, but this bear is getting in shape. Pretty exciting day so far. Pretty exciting day. A little. Oh, whoa, what? Dude, okay. Time out. This is a tiny bathroom by all standards, but they've managed to put a crazy nice toilet in here with toilet paper, a huge shower. What the junk? Yeah, wow. Carved out a real big area for the bathroom. Yo, for real, and it, like, it, okay, actually I feel kind of awkward coming in the, sh well, here, let me get out of the shower, then you go in the shower. <laughs> You're like staring at the soap. <laughs> this is massive soap. <laughs> the soap's as big as my head. The soap, is, it's almost like it's a player head that they turned into soap. <laughs> But no, it's very cool, actually. I love touches like that. This oh, a, yeah. This is a cool bathroom. I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm really digging this bathroom. Got the little mirror banner over here. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Super old school. I actually... Okay, so I'm going to let 
little little bit about myself. I don't know how to do those kind of banners. I've just never learned how to put something on a banner in Minecraft. Does that make me? I don't know. I'm ashamed now. I would craft the little banners. I yeah. don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm I don't gonna think win. I know either. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I dude. Look. I don't. I don't actually craft in Minecraft. All right. I don't. I don't use a crafting table. I'm playing creative. All right. Come at me. Yeah, um, we just spawn stuff in. Yeah, dude. We're not. That's sort of peasantry. Um, dude, do you see this? They even put a vent in the bathroom. Can you imagine if someone built this in survival? <laughs> no, that's far too lazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Um, what is this? Another bedroom back here. All of them are different too, which is cool. Yeah, really gives a uniqueness to them. Ooh, walk-in closet for whatever, whatever fancy person lives here. Yeah, all your little shoes on the ground and your clothes hung up. Nice uh, and neat. How do you reach the... Can't can't really reach the top shelf. <laughs> He's kind of like, yeah. oh, I'm stuck. Gotta bring out that ladder from the library. Ooh, that's why it's connected. You gotta grab the ladder, walk through here, say what's up Feel to the massive on, shower. Man. Yep. That's good, though. Try not to play the glass shower. The glass shower. And that's my third exercise for the day. I just carried a ladder over here, so what's up? Get on my level. Um, good, good exercise, huh? Dude, there's more rooms. This place is full of bedrooms. Another wardrobe open. Another nice wardrobe. Touch. Ooh, I haven't seen this used in a while. The brewing station. Oh, brewing stand has a light? Yeah, I don't know why people stopped using brewing stands. It does, it does look pretty good for me. I like the brewing stands. I think they look awesome. People just stopped using them, but I don't know. It's, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. And then, dude, more bed. I feel like, how many bedrooms does this place have? That's, it's got a million bedrooms in there. It does have a million bedrooms. Dude, where are you at? I'm checking out the balcony out here. It's got a really nice view of the landscape. Ooh. Oh, dude, this balcony is really cool, too. It's like a little seating area to come. You drink some coffee. You look at the uh, rich house over there. Yeah, I got the little plants above it, too. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Dude, that is a really good planter. Oh, whoa. They cut large ferns in half and put flowers on top, and that's cool. Yeah, that is cool. And they got a really nice view of their uh, nice neighbor over here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they come over here and they just look at that house and get super angry because their property value is, like, terrible now. Yeah, just getting destroyed by, by the abandoned house. <laughs> by the abandoned house, which is done really well, too. <laughs> which is, oh, man. Just praying that they don't get robbed by whoever lives there. Oh, yeah, whatever homeless person lives there. Um, not that I'm talking down on homeless people, okay? I don't want that to be a thing. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer. Yeah. yeah, just a little disclaimer. All right, dude, let's go look at this master bedroom. This thing is crazy. Wow. Got the huge bed over here. Yeah, my favorite part is this mirror that's in this closet. Um, so it's like a this closet's actually really well done. Yeah, I got the closet mirror so you can check out your outfit and see how you're looking for today. Yeah, this thing's cool. I like the, uh, the loom block here. Just something different. Yeah. It looks like a really good uh, little shelf to set your stuff in. And it really does, actually. Uh, then in here... Whoa. So, in here is a perfect place. Is there... How do you... How do you... Where do they bathe? It's a, little, a little cramped in here. I guess the master bedroom doesn't have a shower. You just open this up and splash around in here. And close okay. it and flush and you're good to go. Or you flush it when you're still in there and it's like a car wash, but for people. <laughs> takes you down to the lower level yeah, yeah you, you like when you spin around like that then you're good to go hey did you say it takes you down to the lower level <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just you go in there for the day it spins you around and then it pops you down down here and you're like oh ready for work like right pops into the kitchen right back it's a genius that's a genius idea look for that and that's who, who built this house green good job green yeah, Alright, well, I think we saw everything that this house has to offer. Oh, yeah. Really nice house. Dude, super nice house, actually. Beautiful Victorian. Again, in warp Marceline. 
I'm, ooh, you were stepping on me. Getting in your way. Oh, I'm in the tree. So there you have it. There's the showcase. I wanted to take this time to thank you so much for watching. Uh, walk would not be what it is without you guys. So thank you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to WalkTube, subscribe to Spout and myself, ring the bell so you're notified of all the crazy things that we have going on. Until next time, keep smacking blocks on other blocks and making awesome stuff.